Welcome. I hope that you're doing well. By the end of this video, you will be able to increase or decrease the volume of the music that you're creating in Audacity. You will be able to turn up the volume for a selection or for an entire track, and you'll also be able to turn down the volume. Let's get started. So you'll want to have Audacity open, and you want to import an audio file to work with. So you just go to File, Import, and then Audio, and then you can select the track that you would like to edit. Okay, so I've got my track here, and this is the melody of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So when you're working on your file, you may notice this volume slider here, and this is just for the playback volume, so this actually does not affect the file itself. So that's just for playback, so that's not going to affect the file. You could use, uh, on the left-hand side here of your track, you can use the gain function, but that's, uh, again, uh, not going to uh, affect the waveform of the file. So you, you can uh, keep that at zero. And the best way to affect the volume, either up or down, is to go up to uh, Effect and then Amplify. And then it's going to ask you to select what portion you want. So uh, you can either select the entire track by clicking in this gray area. That'll select the entire track. You can go to up here and select All as well. And then you can, if you want to select a certain track, uh, you can go to Select Tracks, and then it'll give you uh, options there. So I have this track selected. Now I'm going to go up to Effect and press Amplify. And so now it's asking me uh, how much I would like to increase or decrease the, the file. So uh, if you have a positive number here, it's going to increase the volume. And by default, when you click this, it's going to give you the best uh, number for the file. So uh, before it would start clipping or distorting the uh, large waves. So right now it's saying I can increase this by 0.582 and, and that will, uh, you know, be an okay size for the file. Now, if you were to press zero here, that actually doesn't uh, affect the file at all. So if you were to press zero, then it'll be exactly the same as it was before. So let's go ahead and go ahead and with 0.58 or so. And then I'm gonna go ahead and press okay. And you'll notice that the file wave got larger. And so if I were to play this back, it would be louder than it was before. Now, if you listen to your file after you do the effect and you're not happy with it, make sure to undo it first. Uh, instead of lowering lowering the level. Once you've pressed Amplify one time, um, it affects the file wave itself, and so it's not going to be as natural sounding as when it was when you recorded it. So you're going to want to just undo that. So to undo, you just press Control Z. You also can go up to um, appear to edit and then undo. I went ahead and now the file is back to where I originally started. So I'm going to select it again. I'm going to go back up to Effect. And let's say I want to amplify, and let's say this time I want to make it softer, or I want to uh, lower the volume. What I want to do is I'll make this a negative number. You can either use a slider here, or you can input it uh, manually. So if I were to go ahead and say the negative 7, I'm going to go ahead and press OK. And you notice the file uh, became much softer. Again, undo if you're not happy with your what you did to the file. Uh, let's This time, let's go ahead and try a selection. And I'm going to go up to Effect. And let's say amplify. And then this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to amplify it past what they recommend. So I'm going to amplify, like say, 11. That's a lot. Um, now it says that's a new. Now, if, now you notice the OK went away. And that's because they want you to know that what you're doing will uh, probably cause distortion in your file. So if you are OK with the distortion, then you want to click on Allow Clipping. And once you click on that, then you can press OK. And now you can see that file got really large. If I were to listen to it, it would be pretty distorted. Um, again, that might be what you're looking for in your music. So again, it's all what you want to do to the file. But uh, the best way to increase or decrease either a selection, an entire track, or multiple tracks is to go up to the effect and then press amplify. And then you either do a positive number to increase or a negative number to decrease. And then, of course, if you want to go past the amount uh, allowed for the new peak amplitude, then you just um, pr click allow clipping and then you'll be all set. So you now know how to turn up or turn down the volume in the files that you're creating with Audacity. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Audacity tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoy this, please like and subscribe. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.